Yo, 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 what is going on my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, aka J Phoenix, and this is going to be your daily tarot and astrology reading for Saturday, August 17th of 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful start to your weekend. Let's go ahead and hop into it, right? Let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say, what the transits are saying, so we see how you can be better prepared to navigate these celestial energies these very austere and bewildering times how will you navigate it well i have the justice card in reverse so maybe we are feeling like there are some injustices some imbalances maybe we felt like things are kind of going counter to what we thought it was going to be or counter to what we believe is the best way let's get a little bit more clarity well, we have the emperor card upright that's pretty freaking interesting. Well, because this is Major Arcana, you know, we may see some interesting things pop off today. You know, the moon does finish in Capricorn today as well. Of course, we have Mercury and the sun coming together. Of course, we also have Jupiter and squared to Saturn today too. So definitely a lot of intense energy for sure. You know, I think this comes down to, you know, maybe like in your personal life with that Emperor card here too. I think it's like we have to learn how to have the courage and the bravery to kind of just step up and kind of take a personal accountability personal responsibility even when things don't feel right even when things don't feel just you know we can't affect everything right obviously and you know we can do what we can you know what i'm saying it's like we're not going to be able we're, we're, there's always going to be some sort of effect from the external world there's always going to be some sort of weird thing that somebody does but it's about how we respond to adversity so i think that's really why this emperor card is coming here in response to the justice card in reverse this is about how do you respond to adversity in your life do you respond by getting flustered do you respond by you know freaking out getting anxious getting nervous do you get the shivers do you get the quakes you know do you cry it out sometimes crying it out is necessary to kind of get rid of the excess energy but then do you stay in that position of feeling defeated or do you stay in that position of feeling like it's just not fair perfect example for me at least today even though this is for saturday but these readings you know they kind of build off and piggy bank off, uh, piggyback off of the previous day's energy but i can you know be upset about what happened today you know i get i got a, a text message early in the morning and one of my teammates had quit and said that she wasn't she effective immediately she wasn't going to come in for her shift and she had to deal with her mental health and other things like that which makes sense you know there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on as far as mental health goes but instead of like throwing a hissy fit about it um i knew exactly what to do I was like, all right, well, I'll go work that shift. The person, the place where I was supposed to work today, we figured it out, you know, and it was easy. We got her shifts replaced over the next couple weeks. It was easy. So it's like about, it's about how you refer to, it's about how you respond to adversity. I could have easily looked at that situation and been like, this is unfair. This is unjust. Like, I can't believe this is happening to me. Oh, woe is me. Why is this happening to me? Or we can respond to it by like, you know what, what can I do? What action can I take? How can I overcome this challenge? And that's really what it comes down to. Like I said, astrologically, we do have, of course, this moon that starts today in Capricorn, and it will finish up as well. We're going to see some positive stuff going on here. It is going to make a nice little trine over to Uranus here, of course. But before it does that, it does make some interesting aspects. It's going to square Chiron. Right? It's going to make a quincunx over to the sun, which is going to be a little bit awkward too. We also have to consider the fact that Mercury is now beginning to square Uranus. So this is going to be the second of three squares to Uranus that we are going to see from Mercury. And, you know, Mercury right now, like Mercury retrograde generally is like, you know, when you start to rethink things, you get new information, right? So this is going to come down to with the Mercury and Leo. It's like, you know what, when things kind of get a little bit rough, when, you know, when things get shaken up with that Uranus Taurus energy, when things get a little electrified or when, you know, something comes out of nowhere, like I said, Uranus is things that come out of nowhere. What do we do with that information? You know, 
if we're utilizing this Mercury retrograde in Leo, we would realize that A, probably one of the best things to do is to laugh it off. I was laughing all day today, despite the fact what had happened, right? We have to be able to laugh things off. We have to be able to see a way. We have to be able to trust our heart. We have to be able to communicate from our heart. You know, these are the things that are going to help us get through these very weird, auspicious and bewildering times. It's very bewildering what's happening in the world right now. We'll see as the day progresses, of course, that moon is going to join up with this yacht, if you will, even though it's pretty loose by this point, because it's going to be in sextile to Neptune and it's making that aspect over to Mercury. So it's going to be a bit looser at this point, so it's not going to be fully exact, but we will eventually see that yacht come up again once Mercury comes direct. So we will eventually see this whole energy come back essentially but we'll see that moon of course it's going to finish up here in capricorn and then it'll shift into aquarius and the shift into aquarius is definitely going to be an interesting one especially as it goes over pluto because we're going to want to emotionally detach from things but it joins up with pluto first so it's like every single time that the moon comes into aquarius and we want to emotionally detach there's something here with pluto which is sort of like okay yeah but look at this because Pluto is a very magnetic energy, right? With it being an Aquarius, you know, this is, I would imagine, this, this is probably going to be the moment, like, so you probably don't want to be on social media too much at, at this point, especially when the moon is on Pluto, because that's going to make things much more sensitive to, people are going to be a lot more sensitive online this weekend, um, with that moon coming on top of Pluto, right? And also, with this Mercury in square to Uranus, on mercury is the planet of communication and it's a square right so even though it's and it's retrograde so like we may be rethinking you know what we hold near and dear to us in our heart space but also people are going to be communicating from a rather fiery passionate place their values but also more than likely projecting that onto other people this is Uranus and putting it out like a broadcast because this looks like a broadcast to me, like a, almost like a tower and like these are like the waves are coming out of it. People are going to be broadcasting their opinion out and they're going to be very fired up. They're going to be very passionate about it. And that's the thing about it. It may not necessarily be true what they're saying, but they can get so lost into, you know, their idea or their thought behind it that they're not really actually holding it up to the light of the truth or they're not holding it up to see is this actually of merit or am I trying to, you know, live out some sort of fantasy or live out some sort of delusion? Why am I trying to convince all of these different people? It's going to be kind of wild. This is all happening, mind you, while Jupiter is still in square to Saturn today. So that's going to just expand it even more so because Jupiter here in Gemini with communication is just going to kind of blow things up with Mars here too. It's going to definitely make things a lot more inflamed. So that's why I've been saying like this weekend is going to be a weird one for social media. Saturday is going to be a weird one for social media. Sunday is going to be a weird day for social media. While the moon is in Aquarius, while Jupiter is in square to this Saturn, right? While Mercury and the sun are coming in closer together and Mercury is in square to this Uranus, it's going to be weird. So do not be shocked if, we, if you see weird things, people being mean to each other, people saying very disparaging things to each other, people making bold and wild claims, people, you know, even going outside of their integrity just because they want to win an argument online. So don't get caught up in, like I said, this whole justice card in reverse, even if you may feel an injustice or so. You have to be very careful about the way that you present yourself this weekend. You have to be very careful about the way that you present yourself this weekend because it will have a lasting effect. It may not seem like it, but this energy supports it. It's like it will have a lasting effect if you're are not careful, you know. And also, I think this is going to come down to, you know, we have to kind of just address how social media itself is going to transform forever because it is. This is in many ways how, especially once Uranus goes into Gemini, but this is addressing how this is shifting forever and the way that people communicate to each other in these digital spheres. And, you know, 
maybe you just maybe some some people are probably gonna leave social media this week I wouldn't be surprised if people just start deleting their Facebooks and stuff um, and that could be an attempt to kind of guard their peace because there's so much stuff happening but you see it happening where people may delete their social media and they're sort of divorced from the sensationalism and the hyperbole of the internet. And even though, yes, things are happening in the external world, it's not affecting their energy nearly as much. And they realize that their lives don't really change. They may change a little bit from different, as political leaders come in and out, their lives may change a little bit, but they don't drastically change the way that things are presented as in these digital spheres it's like you come out of that sort of it's sort of like the way i'm kind of seeing it on seeing it honestly it's like that scene in finding nemo where they found the underwater current right and it's like the internet is the actual current itself right and it's moving really fast and you kind of have to like hop in and stuff like that and it just kind of takes them on it takes them with the momentum but then when you kind of hop out of that current you can kind of see from a different point of view how fast things are moving in that space but that is just one part of the ocean that's just one part of it it's just one part of life when really you can kind of come out of that particular flow and you can see that you start to kind of get a little bit more clarity so i think that's what it is i think people are caught up in different streams of consciousness different streams of beliefs different streams of ideas ideologies and projecting those onto other people thinking it's the best not realizing that that stream is just one of many different streams but ultimately there are ways to kind of come out of that particular stream and get to a calmer space so we can view it more objectively and really like i said put it kind of put it under the microscope if you will and see what's really going on here is this really you know contributing to my life in a positive way if it is cool if it's not well then you know what to do if you can find positives and negatives to it then maybe you make some adjustments i don't think anything's like maybe fully negative or fully positive you just have to make some adjustments and stuff too so that's kind of how the day is going to go as far as the astrology goes as well um for the last card i do have the nine of bows or the nine of swords in reverse yeah i think like i said this is a this, and the fact that this card comes up and i've been talking about social media is that like you're going to see a lot of cries for help unfortunately on the internet this weekend there's going to be a lot of things coming up about mental health this weekend a lot of people that are anxious nervous on edge and it's just that's why it's really important to be careful about you know how you navigate the digital spheres this weekend because it's going to be so hype like hyped up and it's going to be so you know um potentially incendiary that you know you have to be able to you know take things on the chin and realize that some of these most of these people would never say some most of these people that say the crazy shit that they say on the internet about other people with the nasty comments and I'll say it straight up death threats and all this sort of stuff like these people would never say these things in person because they're cowards let's just be real it's because they're cowards right so but because the energy is so intense right now we can people can take that kind of energy and those ideas and those thoughts and those comments and they can blow it up and make it much more than it really needs to be so just be careful about that you know what i'm saying we have the card of have fun have fun today so like get off like get off the computer get off the internet go outside have fun go to a fair it's about to it's about it's like we're still in leo season but it's starting to kind of feel like fall it's still hot out there but it's starting to kind of we had like a couple of mornings here where it kind of felt a little bit cool it kind of felt like fall you know but go out have fun spend time with your loved ones Put the phone down when you're at the restaurant, okay? So it's so you can actually focus and pay attention on the person in front of you and just get out of those particular streams that have you moving a million miles a second. Remove yourself from those streams and just chill. Be calm. Observe. Be in the moments. Live your life. 
that's going to do it for your daily tarot and astrology reading for this saturday august 17th i trust that this message will assist you on your journey this weekend if you found this message at all helpful be sure to like this video share it with your family and friends and subscribe to my youtube channel but y'all take care stay blessed have a wonderful saturday y'all stay safe out there especially in these digital streets it's gonna be crazy but i love you all so much y'all take care stay blessed peace